Hey guys, um, if you are new to my channel, my name is Jessica and I am the owner and operator of Roundtown Candle Co. I am a small hand poured soy wax uh, candle business and I started this channel um, for the purpose of just kind of sharing my process and my journey um, also as a way for me to sort of document that so I can look back on it um, hopefully years from now and um, just see how you know everything has gone and growth and change and all that good stuff so um, if you have been on my channel before I am so happy that you are back um, I definitely appreciate every view um, if you have not subscribed it would be amazing if you did um, so anyways, today's video, um, I wanted to talk about the pros and cons of having an online candle business. Um, so before I really get into it, obviously this is just my opinion. Um, there is no right and wrong. Um, things I say you may agree with or disagree with and that's fine because again, this is just my opinion I'm sharing with you. Um, about my experience so far with my online candle business. So, um, having said that, um, I do see um, pros and cons, which you're gonna have that with anything. Um, so, starting off, we will look at the things I believe to be, um, are the really good side of having the online candle business. So, um, the first being you can set up anywhere. I mean, mine, my candle studio, um, was our home office. So it was pretty easy for me to transition that, um, from the office into a place where I can pour candles and, you know, store materials. And obviously back there you can see, uh, you know, candles that are ready to be sold and, and things like that. So, um, for me, um, it was pretty easy. I mean, I've seen people, I've watched YouTube videos of, of other candle makers who, you know, have turned their dining rooms or their kitchens or, you know, um, living room, whatever, any room, spare bedroom. So that makes it nice because when you're starting out, you don't have the pressure of, you know, I need to have this space. Is this gonna be, you know, big enough, the right location, this and that. It just makes it nice. I mean, it doesn't feel like you have all this added pressure um, on top of you because you're in the comfort of your own space, wherever that may be for you. Um, so that is a definite pro for me. Um, like I said, super easy for us to change things around and uh, didn't really disrupt anything around here too much. So um, the next thing I think is definitely a pro um, about an online candle business is you have a lot less startup costs. Um, you still have to have all your equipment materials and you go through your testing and, you know, software labeling, things like that. Um, but you know, you don't have to deal with um, paying rent for a space or you know having your brick and mortar um, retail location so um, starting up with an online is really good in that way um, it's kind of like a chance to just sort of dip your toe in the water instead of just cannonballing off the diving board um, so that part makes it nice um, you know because it is difficult when you're trying something new um, you know, there are startup costs involved and whether you have that cash on hand um, or you have to build up over time before you can do it or maybe you finance or however you roll with it, um, you know, it just makes it nice because you don't have nearly the amount of startup costs. Um, another thing that makes it nice about being online is you have a lot of flexibility in your schedule. Um, so, you know, I work a full-time job, so I work, um, you know, from seven to three, I get home at three o'clock, you know, I still do like the family thing, dinner and all that other stuff. So there's so much flexibility. If I get orders during the day, I come home, pack them up, you know, I can, um, ship them out, deliver them, porch pickups, you know, whatever needs to be done there. Um, and then, you know, I don't feel like I have this pressure of, 
of these set hours again with this brick and mortar and just being brand new and trying to get into everything so um, sometimes I will try to sleep can't sleep because I have all these things on my mind about oh I want to do this or I should look into that or you know whatever and then I can easily just come down into the candle studio and and do those things if I have the energy and the mindset for them so um, the flexibility of the schedule is is definitely nice for the online side of it um, and then of course you have less risk um, so if you have a a brick and mortar space a retail space where people can come in um, or maybe you're just renting a warehouse or whatever for your materials and to make your candles and things like that there's a lot of risk involved because when you're starting up um, you know typically I've read businesses really aren't profitable a lot of times for the first year so the first year um, you know don't be surprised if you're just investing a lot um, and putting in a lot of time and maybe you're kind of just scraping by or you're getting some profit but it's you know is it enough to pay rent and and electric and gas and all the overhead you know um, so there's a lot less risk in that because you have time to kind of do this gradual growth um, and then build up to a point where you know maybe you decide you want to um, make that happen uh, make that move into a, a more permanent space um, so less risk in that way and then also I mean businesses fail sometimes so um, you know if you have all of this investment in in an outside space versus just trying to do an online you know uh, startup and then you know things don't work out or maybe you realize you can't it's too much with family with life or maybe you just don't love it and you don't want to do it um, there's less risk because like if I decided you know that well maybe this really isn't for me um, all I have to do is just basically clean out a room in my house um, so it's not you know I don't feel like I've set myself up to where if I fail or I don't want to do this um, or things like that it's really not going to be a big dramatic event um, so those are all good things about running an online business um, I think some of the cons for me personally is obviously it's harder to gain exposure um, when you're starting out and you don't have this brick and mortar, you don't have this big sign, you know, Round Town Candle Co. People drive by and they're like, what? Um, so that makes it harder because you have to work a lot harder at getting people's attention. And obviously you start from the inside out. You start with your family, you start with your friends, you start with coworkers, neighbors, you know, the, your community, the people that you know, your little circle, and then you just branch out from there so which is awesome because I have found that um, when I started uh, selling candles I you know friends and family um, that's who bought and then all of a sudden it would be like well a friend of a family member and then pretty soon it's people I have no idea who they are people in a different city you know a girl who who picks up candles and says yeah, I was at my friend's house and she had this candle burn and I was like, whoa, you know, where did you get this? And then that's how she hears about me. So now I'm like getting really excited because I'm at the point where I am beyond my immediate circle um, and it's going out farther and farther. So that's definitely exciting. Um, but it is hard. It is hard and you have to really push yourself um, and you have to... Um, you know get creative and how can I get myself out there now um, I started in the fall so it's like fall since getting ready for Christmas testing and all that stuff I only did one in-person event um, which was a vendor event so um, you know if I was a little more experienced and I could get myself out there more to do more you know vendor events or sidewalk sale things like that um, maybe you know that would well I'm sure it would help to get more exposure um, but for me and the time in which I started and just the way life was working I really didn't get to do that this year um, now we're dead in the middle of winter and I'm really not even trying to um, seek out any kind of events to do so um, so that part makes it tough um, 
another con I would say would be organizational and storage issues. Um, I have four, six, seven boxes of wax in this room stacked up. Um, they're 45 and 50 pound boxes. Um, I've got jars everywhere. I've got candles everywhere. Like that would be the hard part for me with having the online business and running this from my home um, is I feel like almost immediately I was busting at the seams. So now I have gotten a lot better at trying to find ways to um, kind of store materials that I don't exactly use all the time. Um, so I've got some things in the basement, um, you know, on shelving and stuff like that so that it's not a total mess. Um, but that part has been a struggle because I have one room and I have, you know, um, like the raw materials, the finished product, um, all the labeling, all of my, just all the materials, everything it takes to run the business is in this one room. Um, and so that part is a con. <laughs> um, shipping you know a lot of a lot of the products um get shipped out that's not exactly a con um but obviously if you have a a place where people can come to shop you're not going to be shipping out as much so um you know i've i've had to experiment i would say with you know packaging you know you want to make sure that you have everything in there you shake the box you don't hear anything rattling around don't want any broken jars um, actually shipped to Texas when it was blazing hot down there and so I got um, insulated bubble wrap from Uline which was super cool um, literally it's super cool <laughs> kept the candles from melting um, and things like that so that's you know that's um, just I guess not exactly a con but that's something else to take into consideration when with an online business because you are shipping more um, and then the biggest thing, this is the biggest con, and this is such a challenge. Customers cannot smell your candles before they buy them. So people go to your website and they might say like, okay, well, they have a cinnamon and vanilla candle. This smells pretty good, but I mean, you don't know. They might think they're going to like it. They get it and then they don't like and I feel like sometimes that um, keeps people held back from making a purchase because, you know, you want to smell it before you buy it. I mean, that's just natural. And I get that. I totally get that. So uh, for the people who just take a leap of faith and say, I'm going to try it, man, that's awesome. Because I know that it's tough to have somebody, you know, ex want somebody to purchase something without trying it first. So um, that's definitely a challenge. Um, so, I mean, just like with anything, anything, there's going to be pros and cons. Um, I am still 100% thrilled with what I'm doing. I don't have any regrets at all. Um, I love it. I There's so much joy in this for me that it doesn't feel like work. So, you know, I can work all day and then come home and, you know, cook dinner and clean up and spend time with my family and stuff. And then I can spend several hours here and I don't feel like, oh my gosh, you know, I've worked all day and I got to do this. Like to me, it's like, yes, I love this. Finally, I can go work in the candle studio. Um, so, you know, it's just about having a balance and, you know, understanding that there's going to be some downside to it. Um, there's also a lot of upsides to it as well. So I think one of the biggest challenges for me so far has been um, getting comfortable with feeling uncomfortable, um, specifically YouTube. I am not the type of person that is big on um, <laughs> recording myself, watching myself, you know, talk and make these videos um, or watching them play back. Like those are all things that I have struggled with and I almost didn't even start into YouTube um, because of that, because I just felt uncomfortable and awkward and all those things. But then I decided like, I really want to do this because maybe somebody will um, find some of this information to be useful. Um, but again, like also for me, this is super cool that we live in such a time where we can just document all these things. So. Um, I have never started a business. I have never done anything like this. So for me to be able to do it 
and then also document that journey and kind of see, you know, I'll get to see my progression and all that is super cool. So, um, you know, getting out, stepping outside of that comfort zone, um, that's like a big thing and a lot of vulnerability there, but um, definitely important. And I would encourage anyone who is considering um, a business or if you've started your business already or you've got things going like do these things do these things that make you feel uncomfortable and put yourself out there um, for other people and for yourself as well I mean you're on here watching this for a reason I I watched other candle makers and I still do I still follow a lot of different people um, and I love to see kind of how everyone does their thing and, and differences. And sometimes I'm like, oh yeah, yeah, I really wouldn't do it that way, but it's awesome that she does. And I think it looks super cool. And you know, it's just, it's just neat to see that. I mean, we live in a day and age where we can just jump on the internet and, you know, Google, uh, I might want to make, you know, start a candle business. And then you just get a flood of all this information. And it's so cool. Like we totally need to take advantage of that. So, um, do it. If you haven't done it, like start a channel, um, ask me, I will follow you for sure. Um, I'll subscribe and like all your videos. And so, um, you should with mine too. That'd be awesome. But anyways, and then I think the other thing is like, we tend to get worried, um, about, getting the approval of other people or being judged or like having a hater. Oh, I think the worst thing for me is like someone who wants to, um, complain about something I'm saying or doing or product or whatever, just because, um, I'm such a positive person that I really don't feel like we need to tear each other down. But I know that there are people who do that. Um, and I really dread that day <laughs> because, I just, uh, that discourages me all the time, um, whether it's, you know, something with myself or other people. Um, so, you know, we worry about what other people think, but I guess at the end of the day, um, if we, if we keep that, you know, at the forefront, we're never going to take challenges, you know, uh, take those steps or, or take on these challenges to, to start new ventures. So, um, getting past all that is important. So, all right, finish this up because I'm kind of starting to get in all different directions. So basically, online business, it can be super good in so many ways, um, but it can also be challenging. It is tough to, um, to create a brand that, you know, you have to really, you have to work hard and research like crazy, test like crazy spend so much time doing it that it feels like a ridiculous amount of time and be patient you know through the process and then ultimately in the end you need to be confident in your product and in your brand um, and just own it the good and the bad and everything because if you're going to put yourself out there as this online business you know um, where people can't really always connect with you one-on-one -on -one or can't walk into your store and see it you have to be able to sell it to them online you know without them being able to hold it in their hands or to smell it or walk through a store um, so make sure you take more time than you even think you need um, I was a solid nine months before I started um, and I wanted to make sure because I didn't want to put something out there that I didn't feel like I was super comfortable with or super in love with um, because you have to work a lot harder to gain a following. And then once you do, like it will just go from there. I've got people who I did not know before this started, um, you know, outside of the family and friends and all that stuff. I have customers who I have never met um, or who I did not know at all prior to this. And now they're repeat customers. You know, they are three, four, five orders in. Um, that is amazing to me because they know um, that I love my product. I, you know, do everything I can to make it um, as easy for someone to understand why I'm doing this and about my product, you know, 
that everything that goes into the candle, um, the wax, the wicks, why I use what I use, what the benefits are of using what I use, all that stuff. So um, make sure that you really let people know the story behind what you're doing. And so it will give you a lot more credibility and people will look past the fact that you are an online business, um, you know, it, rather than, than a store that they can just walk into um, and then decide whether or not they want to purchase. So anyhow, I hope that you found just even a little shred of something out of here that maybe inspired you or just made you feel validated in your own journey. Um, so again, if you would like, subscribe, follow me, hang out, leave comments. I will comment back to anyone who leaves anything on there. I appreciate all that so much. Um, and then um, hang out with me because I will have another video coming at you next week. So I look forward to it and I hope you guys have an awesome week. I'll talk to you later. See ya.